Yeah, so some of you guys are just forwarding um, posts, right? That's, you're not going to get the best results doing that, okay? You want to be adding just a little one-liner, you know, something emotive, something that's going to be like, wow, look at this, or I love seeing results like this, or, you know, this is changing people's lives, or, you know, e-commerce has changed, you know, my life, and this is, you know, it's not just changing my life. You, all, you want to add a one-liner. If you just forward something, it's almost like you want to tell people how to feel about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you're, when you share a post, you're sharing a post because you're telling people, this is how I feel. I feel about what I'm sharing. So you have the, use it as an opportunity to tell people that this is exciting to tell people that this is changing other people's lives. If you just forward it, you're not going to get the feedback that you really want in long term. Right. So it's when you forward stuff, I encourage you, even if it's just somebody who's made 10 pounds, right? Just put a one liner on top, just saying, you know, an extra, you know, just magic. Somebody just made another 10 pounds out of nothing, you know, do this a hundred times in a month and that's a thousand pounds or whatever. Do you see what I mean? Whatever you want to put your own spin on it because your audience is used to you. They're not used to the person who you're forwarding the post from. So you want to add your little bit of element to it to make it personalized. Does that make sense? Does everybody kind of get that or have any questions? Yeah. yeah? All right, yeah. cool. So that's really, yeah, I mean, the attraction marketing works, but try to personalize it a little bit. And, I'm, and I literally mean just the one liner, something really short and sharp, but try to make it emotive. Try and use emotive words like love, excited, you know, um, game changing, stuff that makes people go, okay, game changing. All right, let me have a look at this. Something that really draw, draws more eyes on what you're doing. All right. Um, all right, so let me just, uh, let me maybe just so you guys can see. I'm going to type this out. Um, okay. Bear me a second. I'm just going to share my screen. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to type this up so you can just see it as well. So, um, okay. So, first thing is attraction marketing. Marketing. Really, you want to just make it... Um, Add um, or add your one-liner to it. Just put in brackets, emotive, um, punchy, yeah? So then, so that's really it. But keep doing what you're doing because everybody that, so many people say to me, it's so cool that everybody's basically duplicating, they're duplicating sharing posts because not everybody else is doing that in the way we're doing it and it's causing a lot of noise. So keep doing that. So then the other thing I wanted to say is about um, being a great promoter. All right. So um, being a great promoter. All right. So really, when you think about it, the most the most successful people who make the most amount of money in network marketing in particular, but in any business, they're good at promoting. They're great at promoting. Right. So get comfortable, really kind of um, when you as that when you, for example, at the five o'clock around the five, six o'clock time frame, when you guys are sharing a post about what to um about this, about our webinar, make sure you, you know, as I said, even though you're forwarding my post, add your own bit as well, but not, you don't want to see loads and loads of writing, but make it seem like it's a big deal. You know, most people don't want to watch a webinar at eight o'clock in the evening. They can watch EastEnders, they can watch whatever programs come on at eight o'clock. So what is it in that one liner that you're going to put on top of that 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 promotion at, at six o'clock or whatever time it is you're doing it, that's going to make people think, you know what, I better get my ass there. Yeah. So it's not always about, it's, it's not always about um, just copying what I've said. You want to get right, good at writing your own text going forward. You don't have to, but it's going to help you. It's going to help you a lot. So just get good at, you know, really kind of coming up with something, some kind of one liner that is really going to start to draw people in. Yeah. And, and don't be afraid to, to play around with it because you'll start to understand what gives people good feedback. So you see with me, it's like I concentrated on this image. Terry, Terry should be on this call, actually. Let me see if Terry is on this call. Are you on this call, Terry? He said he's going to be joining soon. Right. But you want to get used to like when I'm when I'm choosing my posts, I'm, I'm going to. You know, remember I told you about adding most of the leaders on here and, I, and I'll show you that again, but go to their pages, go to the Infinii fan page and just try and find something that you think is striking. 
find something that is going to grab people's attention and just don't be afraid to send that post and then follow up with people. All right. And, and don't be, don't be easily distracted or put off by people who are like, you know, they're playing hard to get because eventually everybody's going to join what we're doing. So just add your little one liner, you know, you can use my images, but try to try to add, think of something to say which is gonna you would look at and think okay that's something i want to do don't just get into a routine of churning stuff out does that make sense this is your chance to kind of add your little bit of is somebody want to say something sorry i thought somebody just unmuted themselves no i did but i wasn't gonna say anything but you was just you was just um... i'm getting prepared to say something but I, yeah. <laughs> you was gearing yourself up yeah? i felt like something was coming up yeah. So, all right. Cool. So, so basically, Matt, okay. Matt, you're saying you want us to personalise it, basically, aren't you? So, so it's coming from us. I don't you know? want you to. I don't want you. To, I don't want you to spend loads of time fighting about because I've done that before, where you you just spend it forever. So, if you just want to forward what I'm doing, forward what I'm doing, but add something. This is exciting. Can't wait for this. Something like that. Just something that makes people is a motive that makes people want to like, okay, I need to take notice of this, right? And if you start making your own post, choose images that are striking that people are going to look at and say, you know what, let me take a look at that. Yeah. Um, I guess the main thing that I wanted to look at today is, is focusing on results. Now, do all of you know where in terms of where your business at, is at right now and where you, what the gap is to you getting to national manager are all of you familiar with that is anybody here thinking you're kind of going at it blind and this is not about calling you out i'd rather you say you know what matt i, I don't really understand it because this is your opportunity for me to actually help you sure matt um <laughs> do i have to be on a certain membership level to be earning money off people i bring in no if that makes sense no. No, you don't, you don't need to, you, so you can be a partner at any level, okay, but yeah. to, to, hit, um, to hit national manager and director, you need to be at the $150 level and above, right? All right. Guys, I would really encourage you, if you're serious about hitting ranks, try to get your head around the compensation plan, yeah? Uh, okay, that's fine, cool. And I, and I prefer people tell me that they don't understand it, okay? So what we're going to focus on today is not director, okay? Because before you get to director, you, the, the key milestone for all of you is hitting national manager, okay? So in terms of this, the reason why I give you all the strategy of go and find, it doesn't matter what level these people go in at, but go and find at least up to five people who are excited about hitting director. I don't care if they start at the $50 level, right? Go and find at least five people in the next seven to 10 days that are excited about the director level. Now, the reason why I say that is because the, the way Infinii pay bonuses is gonna work in your favor to not be reliant on one, one line of PET, your personal enrollment tree. Yeah. So if we look at the personal enrollment trees here, okay. So if we look at something like this, all right, let me just hide this down for a second. So this slide here basically represents, so let's say I'm this lady here, right? And I've put in four of you. So these four people here are personally sponsored people by this person here. So what we're basically saying is, is that this person, Sam, he's got his own line of PE, right? Sue has their own line of PET, et cetera, et cetera, because this person has personally put these four people in, right? You are only allowed to earn a, up to 60% from one particular line of PET to, to contribute towards your requirement, right? And what I mean by this, and I'll just put you all on mute for a second so you understand this, right? Is this, is that this, this column here, this column here is basically telling you what is the total amount of credit towards this number. Remember, this is the key business volume number you need to achieve to hit national manager. You can only take 60% um, of one, any one line. So how does that impact you? So let's just say um, Chris 
introduces me and um, ju- it, me and one other person to Infinio, right? So I go and build a team, a huge team. The other person doesn't even put one person in, right? So even though, even if I go and create twenty thousand dollars of business volume, Chris will not hit national manager because he can only take sixty percent of the total value of the the ranking of the business volume requirement that you need to get, right? So what that means is he could only take six thousand dollars towards this number from me so the remainder would need to come from a different line of pet so if i'm sam chris could only get credit for even if i created twenty thousand dollars of business volume he could only take six thousand dollars towards the ten thousand dollar requirement for national manager from my line it would need to come from one of these other people so what you're going to find is if you go and put five people in who are excited about national manager level some of them are not going to do anything that's just the fact right everybody comes in and says i want to make a million pounds i want to be a director i want to be a global ambassador i want to do x y and z but when it comes down to it there's only going to be a small minority of people that take the action that's just the way life works right it's not good it's not a bad thing it's not a good thing it's just the fact of life so the point i'm trying to make to you is this if you get five people if you go and put five people into the business that is excited about hitting director in the next seven days two things happen the first thing that happens is that they have a similar very very similar time frame to you because you because you because you're because you're not three weeks ago maybe right let's say three weeks so they if you put them in in the next seven days they're only going to be a month out right and what i mean by that is they're going to want to they they then they're going to want to hit director as well so they're going to need to do a lot of work so the the work that they do is going to benefit you before your 90 days is up does everybody understand what i'm trying to say or am i speaking crap yeah, yeah. yeah. So the benefit of having at least five people is let's just assume two of those people don't do anything. They do absolutely nothing, right? So that leaves you with three people. There's always going to be one person who's really driving your business volume. It's just a fact, right? But you're only ever going to be able to take 60% against that 10,000. You only to get to national manager, you're only going to be able to use $6,000 towards the $10,000 requirement from that one person who's really driving it. So you're going to need to make up the other $4,000 from person two and three, assuming that you've only got three people of the five who are really doing something, right? So then that means you could get 2,000 from person two and 2,000 from person three. It's not, too, it's not a big problem, right? But the point is, that's the benefit of not relying on one person. And I, I can tell you there's people right now in our team who really should be at a higher at a higher rank, but because most of their business volume was driven by one person, they didn't get the full credit from Infinia because of this sixty percent cap. All right. So does everybody understand that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is there anybody that's still not sure? Because I want to make sure that when you guys come off this call, that you're really crystal clear as to why I'm saying to you go and go no matter what it is go just go and put five people into your business that are excited Mm -hmm. about hitting director is everybody cool on that yeah yeah okay cool so the other thing is this five thousand dollars right this five thousand dollars on your lesser leg for hitting national manager now this five thousand dollars can be contained in this ten thousand pet does everybody understand that so you're not you're not needing to generate $15,000, $15,000, this $5,000 could be contained already in your personal enrollment tree. Do you, do you want me to explain why or do you all understand that? Could you explain why, please? Why, please? All right. So basically, if you look at, let's go to one of these. All right. So let's take this here, right? So what happens naturally, you all know that you've got two teams, right? You've got what's called your common leg, which is the leg that you share with your upline, okay? That's generally going to be the leg. So let's say, let's say Sabelle is this lady here, right? And I put Sabelle into the business. So I'm somewhere up here. So 
I'm going to share one of these legs with Sabelle, all right? And because I'm a monster beast, right, there's going to be lots of activity on this side, right? Because I'm only going to be putting people spillover. That's called spillover. I'm only going to be putting spillover on this side of Sabelle's business, right? Because this side of Sabelle's business is her personal leg. Yeah? Does that make sense? So yeah, what yeah. that means is, is that what should generally happen, and it sometimes changes, but what should generally happen, because Sibel is building this side and this side, but in addition to that, I'm building this side as well, what should happen is that this left-hand side of Sibel's business should contain the greater business volume, all right? So what that means is, is that Sibel is going to get paid on the business volume generated by her lesser leg, right? So all of your weekly bonuses are 10% of whatever your lesser leg business volume is generating. And that tends to be your personal leg. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So the reason why you can have, so remember your personal enrollment tree, sorry, let me just, I don't know what that is in the background, but I'm going to mute everybody. All right. So your personal enrollment tree can be on either side of this, of this structure because your personal enrollment tree starts with you and it means anybody that you personally put into the business and you're going to personally put people into both sides of your business and anything they do will be your personal enrollment tree, right? But on, only on this side, you're also going to be getting spillover from me, which has nothing to do with you in the terms of it's not part of your personal enrollment tree but it will count towards your business volume, right? So when you're looking at your, so if you look at it here, right, you can see all the people in green are people that this lady has personally put into the business. So this might be the greater leg, yeah? This might be the lesser leg, okay? But in terms of PET, the, the $10,000 requirement, this number here, all right? PET, BV required, this $10,000, can come from both legs because it relates to people that you've either personally put in or they have put in as well. So that can be on either side, but your lesser leg business volume, this side will tend, will only contain some of the people that you personally put in. So it will be in your total PET number, but your lesser leg will just be one side of it. Does that make sense? Or did I explain that wrong? You can tell me if you didn't get it because I, I'll go over it again. I'll try to explain it in a different way. It makes sense. Sorry, my computer froze. All right. Any, every, everybody else, I want, I want people to really kind of, guys, talk to me. This is, not, this is not a teacher training lecture session. Do you understand what I'm getting at? Are you really with me on this? Crystal. Yeah? Does anybody say, no, Matt, can you explain it again? That's fine. No, I understand it. Okay, cool. So, so what I want you to really focus on is this, right? You can look at this national manager's level in one of two ways. You can look at it as um, the total amount of people that you need to put in, which is fine. So maybe you say if you put in, you know, five people and work with them, you could work out any different level of connotation. What I would say to you is this, right? If you put five people into your business, if, if you help three of them, sorry, if you help four of them become national manager or if you help, sorry, regional manager, or if you help one of them become a national manager, you'll get to national manager. Because if you can see here, this $10,000 that you need to get to, to become national manager, right? If you divide that by the lower ranking regional manager divided by $3,000, so basically, you need to put 3.3 .3 people in to get them to that level. Now, I've never met a 0 0.33 person before in my life. So let's just say like three regional managers and one manager. But are you getting the idea that you need to develop people? So this Infinii is not about you going in and putting in as many people as possible. Work with the people that you've got. Help them to achieve rank. Does that make sense? Help work with them really encourage them so you guys need to get good at motivating people at, at whatever the person needs that is in your downline you should be the one if you don't know the answer help them get the answer 
work with them, make it more of a partnership so that they feel they can work with you and they're not on their own. Because you're, the, the way the bonuses are structured, and I'll explain to you why, in particular, I'm looking at this bonus here, the, um, sorry, the dual team, um, sorry, this bonus here, actually. The way the bonuses are structured, once you start to get to like director level, and also the way that they allow you to take business volume per line of PET, all of it is structured for you to put at least two people into the business and for you to work with those people over and over again. If you do that, you're going to be able to maximize the bonuses more and more. Yeah. So in terms of the people on this call, who is, uh, and this is, you, you know, you don't have to, this is, this is, we're all familiar with each other, right? This is not a competition. This is about, I want you to go away and have a strategy to go and dominate the next seven days. Because if you dominate the next seven days, that's going to set up your February. Every single person on this call can become a national manager by the time they do announcements on the 15th of March, right? You know, I've given out some prizes. I would love to have 20 people come to me and say, I'm national manager, give me my FBA products. I would love for that to happen, all right? I, I, it's fine with me. But I want you all to have a realistic idea of what it's going to take for you to get to national manager. So do, do, do we mind if we just go through and people just kind of, just one by one, everybody kind of just explains to me where you're at in terms of your business and so I can kind of help you. Is that all right? Yeah? So Alex, we'll go with you first because I can see you first. Where, where are you at on this page? Where am I at? I, I'm probably at manager at the mm -hmm. moment. What's, the, um, what's your total, um, your business volume right now? Well, I think it's 800. I'd have to check. 800. Um, okay, so you're at the manager level. Okay. Um, I think. It, has, it hasn't given me the registers that because it takes a while for it to clear. Okay. But, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, your, your total at the minute, you think your total BV is about 800. I think so. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, okay. And so, and so, um, so that's your PET B mm. or your total BV. That's the total PET. Okay. Right. So, in terms of your binary, like one of them, obviously, you share with Pete, right? Yeah. So one of them is one of them, like your dominant leg. Uh, my inside leg. My leg is stronger than Pete's leg. Okay. All right. Cool. So, At the moment, just about fifty. Okay, and so how many people do you feel right now that you've got with you in your team right now who's really going for this director's bonus? Uh, on this call, there's Glenn. Uh, Bella's okay, on this call as well. Okay, cool. Uh, um, I've got another person who's also for Tim Boudin's not on the call. Okay. Um, but Spirit's going to be checked tomorrow in Sweden. Okay. So, um, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. Cool. It, it started. Okay. Obviously, there's more to go. No worries, no worries. That, thanks for giving me kind of a bit of a feedback so basically you've got i would say to you really what you want to do is you want to help all of your guys that you've already got so it's not for you it's not really necessary necessarily about going to find new people just go and help all of the people in your team right now to to to, to, to maximize the next seven days yeah so for them you just want to be there on hand with them and 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 help them to promote the um the presentation every single day at eight o'clock sending out videos to as many people as possible and attraction marketing yeah for sure for so sure that's, definitely that's, gonna go through that i've been i've been doing some of that okay cool so what just I'm that's where i would focus my attention if i was you rather than putting more people into the business one of one of the things i was going to say which is something that you haven't mentioned when you give your presentation is you're always focusing on the um, excel level with people which yeah. Some people will seem a bit daunting. Yeah. And what they did go through with on the training 10 days ago or so was how to get people up with uh, the prime level. And they, he goes, first week, get two people in. Yeah. Week two, train those people to, in their first week, get two people in. Yeah. And then they train two people, yeah. you know, yeah. the same way. And if you did that each week, uh, I, I mean, in three months, you've got third weeks you would be a senior director uh, yep. uh, on, on doing that if everyone did that two by two by two by two by two yep you know? i mean there's there's so. and i completely understand that i mean i think you'll find there's as many people that would be find that option more attractive 
as find it too slow. Right? So all I, all I try to do is give people a strategy based on the time frame that I've got to move forwards. If they're serious about going for the bonus, they will want more information and we can give them various different angles on how to do it. But I t the, um, your feedback's taken on board and I might tweak it a little bit. But really what I just want to do is just give people an understanding of what's possible. Do you see what I mean? Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's, that's clear. I just thought it would be something that'd be useful. Yeah, no, it's not. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah? Okay. All right. So um, I'll come back to you in a second, Peter. All right. Ka Kamala. Hey. Hey, you're right. So just yeah. and don't feel, don't feel, I'm literally just trying to help everybody. Yeah. So where do you sit roughly at the moment in terms of, of this? Well, I'm not sure. I've, I've in my PT got two people on surge. Okay. Um, so that's about I don't, 100 BV, right? Okay. All right, good. So are they on one on your left, one on your right, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and are they partners? They are, yeah. So okay. one of my people is Nadine. Okay. She's pushing hard. Good. But my other person, not so much. Okay, fine. Go and find another three people. Okay. So, so really, what, I'm, what I want to do now is go through each one of you and say, your strategy for this next week, because... I want everybody on this call to realize you're only going to get paid for your results. I, sorry, I'm going to just mute you guys again because there's just a lot of background noise. But this, Infinia is going to pay you for results, not for the time you spend doing stuff. That's just the fact. So what I want to move, because that's how I run my business, right? I look at what do I want to achieve by the end of the day? What do I want to achieve by the end of the week? What's my target for the end of the month? All I'm focused on is the result. If you focus on the result, the actions will, you'll take the necessary actions. If you just do the actions and think, well, I'm doing, I'm going through the motion. I'm not saying this about you, Kamala. I'm just talking to everybody right now. Focus on what is the result you want to achieve this week. So for Kamala, I would say to you this, go and put another three people into your business who are excited about the partner about the partner bonus, right? And that means step up your attraction marketing, draw up a list of people, speak to them, do whatever it takes, yeah? Do whatever it takes for you to put those additional three people. But if I were in your position, I would go out and just make it happen. Does that make sense? And work, also work, continue to work with people like Nadine, because I can see Nadine pushing hard already. So that means you've got a good person there. One good person is worth 100 non-good people. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Okay, great stuff. Thanks, Kamala. Right, Dan, I know you're yeah. I know you're brand new, mate. Um, so yeah. you're literally literally for you, mate, it's just this week, just put everything else to one side. Like yeah. remember I was saying to you earlier on today about just have laser targeted focus, right? Your goal really today, it doesn't matter what membership level they go in at, go and put five people into the business who want to be a partner. That's what yeah. that's your only result that you're focused on. I'm, I'm trying for it. I had, um, you know, I've done attraction marketing for about a week now and I've had yep. about 20 inquiries. Yep. All of those people I've sent the videos. Yep. Um, one or two. Huh? Have you followed up with them? One or two have said they're not interested and okay. then um, probably uh, half of them were today. So I'm giving them a chance to watch it. Yeah. A lot of them said, I'll watch it tonight, whatever. You know, I don't want to be too pushy. Yeah, don't, um, don't be too pushy. Don't be too pushy, but... but just, the just... others, I'm still waiting to hear back from, so I will send a follow-up in, in probably maybe tomorrow okay. or the day after because I don't want to... Set yourself in the a target. I know, I'm, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to say that you should be pushy. All I'm saying to you is, yeah. by this time next week... Aim yeah. to have converted five people. Yeah. yeah, yeah One course. thing is exposing, but people remember people want to do stuff in their own time, but yeah. it's up to you to kind of motivate them. Direct not really motivate, not really motivate. You're sharing results, right? Yeah. Just go and put like just do a bit of hyper activity. Just mm. that's what it takes. In this type of a business, in any kind of sales business, there are times when you need to just get busy. Just like when you've got a job, right, and you know there's a deadline tomorrow, everybody stays late. Mm. Yeah? This yeah. is the same analogy, right? It's the same thing. This is the week where you need to stay late. Yeah. Make sense? Cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No worries. Nice one. Okay. Natalie. You all right? Natalie? Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, 
All right, so whereabouts are you on this table? Um, I'm not. I had one person join, but they're not doing the partners bit. They're not doing the partners bit. So I, do you, did you hear everything that I was just saying to... I was just saying before. Uh, what you mean about getting four other people or five other so, people? So, so basically, if, if your one person is not doing anything, right? And I know this sounds like, <gasps> but I just want to give you guys the best chance to hit national manager this month. Because if you can hit national manager this month, you've got a great chance of hitting director pretty soon after. Because the momentum will be... yeah. But I guess... First of all, you need to believe that it's possible. And if you believe it's possible, then you'll take the actions, yeah? So, whatever you, like, this is, as I was saying to Dan, you know, sometimes when you're at work, when you're in your employment, you just have to stay late because there's a deadline you've got to achieve tomorrow, right? And this week is the week you need to stay late, all right? This is the reason why I started this kind of session today, because all of you guys have expressed an interest in wanting to hit ranks, right? And hit the bonus. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the week where expose as many people as possible. Um, put as many people on the webinars as you can. Like I'm doing daily webinars. I'm happy to, you know, send the videos out, send people with the presentation, follow up with them. Yeah. And just really kind of get excited and say, right, this is the week where I'm going to step it up to the next level. Because by next month, by this time next month, you could be earning eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand dollars a week. That's how quickly things will change. Because remember, the reason why I'm saying to get to national manager is you're going to be earning the best part of $2,000 a week. So that should be incentive enough for you, yeah? Okay. All right. Is that, does mm -hmm. that seem a bit daunting for you? Is, is that if, if, if national manager is not what you want to go for, then forget what I just said. I'm only saying that to you if that's what you want to do yourself. No, for me, it's just about trying to do two things, tracks and marketing, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, the attraction, you heard what I said about kind of tweaking the attraction market inside and, and making it more consistent, et cetera, et cetera. So, you, I mean, you guys are all doing really well because I can see you doing it. Yeah. But I don't want you to feel intimidated by what I'm saying. I'm just trying to help people that really want to hit rank, but they're just not really sure how they're going to get there. If you're happy with the strategy, you're using, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, for me, it's because I don't understand it. I don't really want to just be getting people on my team if I can't explain something myself. So what, what don't you understand? E-commerce side? Just the how the whole thing works. So for me, that's why I probably haven't. Because if someone said to me, how does this work? It's kind of like, how do I explain it? Okay. Well, you know, you're, you know I'm, contact, I'm contactable during the day. You, you, I can sit with you, have a session, we can talk it through. Okay. All right. So, I mean, that's something really that you could come to me with and say, Matt, I don't understand it, so that I can start running. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, it's up to you. I mean, if it's not something you want to do, that's fine. But I, make, I try to make myself available to you guys, and I'm happy to sit down here and, and just one-to-one -one talk you through the compensation plan, talk you through the e-commerce side, until you say to me, Matt, I've got it. Yeah? All right. Well, thank, thanks for contributing, Natalie. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Bella, I know you're fairly new. Hello, Bella. Hi. Are you hey. in Mexico? Yeah, I'm in Mexico. Yay. This is what we like. How are you finding your Infinia experience so far? Um, at the moment, I really need some help. I mean, what's going on is I've, I've actually opened a real shop here in Mexico. I sell Mexican art. And so I've had a bit of a two weeks because I'm dealing with employees and shops and yep. some water shop. Yep. So it's been a bit slow. Um, and also I've been really sick. So okay. it's, uh, I've been, I haven't done what I wanted to do, but um, basically I've, I just got my Infinii tool. Well, I got my token working um, two days ago. And now my problem is that I need to try and, um, get, I think I need to get my eBay account verified because it's an international address. Okay, what, what we'll do, what we'll do is let's talk about e-commerce side outside of this call because this the thing is, the reason why I'm, I'm saying it is because basically in Mexico, I earn 35 pesos an hour, okay. which is 70 pence. It's, so okay. for me to sign people up in Mexico, 
it's 60 hours. Okay. $60, it's six, over 60 hours work. Sure. So I need to see that my tool's working and get, so I can promote it to other people because otherwise it's just, it's going to be hard to promote something that's so expensive here in Mexico. Okay, and that's, um, that's, a, that's a valid point. So what, what we really need to do is get you to the point where you're set up properly. So, exactly. so, make, so make that, once I've done that, because, yeah. because it's, a, it's, an, it's a dollar income, yeah. people here will be lapping it up. Yeah. So obviously I need to be able to prove to people that I'm selling and I'm making money yeah. and show them what I'm doing. And once I've done that, there'll be lots and lots of people really, really interested. Sure. Okay. So let's, let's talk about that offline. So okay. I guess, I guess, yeah, so let, let's link up. Um, yeah, let's sort that off, offline and we'll move forwards. But no, that's a valid point and, and that's a fair point. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Appreciate that, brother. Okay. All right, who's this? No, okay, we know about, is it Chris? We know about Chris, we've already spoken. I know you're killing it. Terry's on the line, so I'd like to get Terry to say something in a bit. Um, but where are we? Glenn. Glenn, are you working with Alex? Glenn? Hello? Okay, Glenn's going to be shy. That's fine. All right, no worries. Uh, okay, Nadine, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good, all right, whereabouts are you sitting on this table? Uh, it's not great at the moment. Okay, um, that, 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 this is why we're having this conversation. No, no, I know, I know, I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been trying, but okay. saying that today I've had three people uh, come to me today. Good. So you, I should have three people on the line Hopefully at eight o'clock today. Wonderful. Um, I, I'm I'm pushing. I'm pushing. It's I know you not going as, see, It's I just not going as well as I would like to have hoped, but it will get there. <laughs> all all you need to think about is this, right? And this is the other thing I was going to say to all of you guys because, um, guys, is everybody here? And I'm just going to mute all of you for a second, right? When you guys are doing your attraction marketing, are all of you are all of you expanding your circles? Because this is one of the key points that I was going to make before, right? So when we're looking at the attraction marketing side of things, yeah? So this part here, is everybody doing this bit? Because I see the attraction marketing five days a week, five, uh, three times a day, every single day from a lot of you. That's great. But if you're not expanding your, your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, are you guys doing your Instagram and Twitter. It doesn't have to look professional, but if you're sharing the same post on each of those three, you're gonna give yourself a better chance of encountering people who are looking for an opportunity. If you're only doing attraction marketing to the same existing audience that you had before, remember what we said when we wanted to, the whole point of growing a, a group is that you want to attract entrepreneurial, positive-minded people to your audience. So that's why you should grow your audience as aggressively as possible. Is everybody following that part? Yes. Yeah. I will be now. Okay. Right. So I, 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 I can, that was one of the things that I wanted to mention to all of you guys that I'm, I, I, it's great what you're doing, right? I'm just helping you tweak some stuff. And that, uh, although it seems like it's not the most important bit, remember most of the people you know in your Facebook aren't necessarily business people. They aren't necessarily people looking for an opportunity. They aren't necessarily people that are proactive in that way, right? You want to attract the type of people to your audience on your Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, that is gonna be the type of people that you, you meet in the groups that I said, right? So remember in the training that I gave you, I was saying to you, join groups like this group, right? Tony Robbins group, Wait on a second, I'm gonna change it a little bit. Yeah, so the Tony Robbins group, it's got, you know, and there's plenty of others. I joined this group, 5,000 members on there. All of these people are generally positive, entrepreneurial, doing stuff with themselves. You can type in any type of name on here. I mean, and I'm just gonna make this up as we go along. What about home business? Yeah, I don't know. There's going to be loads of different stuff here, right? 
just join the group and start adding people yeah add people in the way that i taught you remember i said to all of you you can add up to five but a maximum of 10 people a day otherwise facebook will block you but remember what i said is that what you can do is when you find so once you've maxed out your five or ten people on facebook right you want to basically go and find someone let's say i didn't know this guy Des O'Con desmond o'connor i do know him right but let's just say i didn't know him at but his his security settings were such that i could still like and comment underneath his posts so i would go to his facebook page and if i saw a post that i like what you can do is you can type something like desmond great post please add me or friend friend request me all right you go and do that 50 times in one day 25 people add you that's the way of getting around facebook's ban facebook because facebook doesn't want you to spam anybody does that make sense so always make sure you type the person's name desmond dash great post yeah and make it something that you would comment against don't comment against some any form of rubbish that nobody else is commenting against. but find something that you're like okay that's a cool post or kind of a cool post and just comment underneath it and ask them to add you you'll be surprised how many people will add you because you know what it's like when somebody likes your post and comments it makes you feel good right so do that and if and for those of you i don't care whether you've only got a hundred people on your facebook what is your goal for this week set yourself a goal of how many people you want to add to your friends list by the end of this week because all of those people you want to be entrepreneurial positive minded go getters because when those people see you posting results and sharing results guess what they're not going to be the people saying you know what it must be a scam or no 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 that they're going to be the kind of people that say okay this person's about something let me keep an eye on this person does that make sense yes definitely okay sounds good Matt. sounds good all right okay so um so you know People like Tony Robbins, Jim Rowan, um, all different types of any kind of mo you can just type in your internet. You can just type in your internet and just type in, you know, motivational people. Type, find, get a list of loads of names and just type them into Facebook, right? And remember, Twitter and Instagram are really powerful because you've got no limits on the amount of people that you can add, right? And you're going to do the same attraction marketing strategies on Twitter and, and Instagram and places like that. I know it might seem a lot of work, but before you know it, you can grow your audience by a couple thousand people in the space of a month. But in terms of what you want to do for the next week, guys, really focus on, you know, how can I get those five or so people into my business who are going to run with me? So, chat lady. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. So, whereabouts are you on this on this uh, comp plan? I'm not even going to lie, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. So no. that's, I was waiting for somebody to say that because that's, a, and, that, and that's, I'm pleased that you're honest about that, Cat Lady. Oh, I don't bullshit. <laughs> Good. All right. So you should know if, this, if you're going to treat this as a business and you want to earn £20,000 <laughs> in the next three months, you're not going to earn £20,000 if you don't know what's going on in your business. True. Yeah. So get familiar with your back office, right? So do you know where to find your binary and all that type of stuff? Yeah, I do. You understand what the BV means and all that type of stuff? Yes. Okay, cool. So I don't need to share. So basically, number one rule, know about your business. I'm looking at my binary every day. I know every single time somebody says to me, <laughs> just put somebody in the team, I'm going to check my binary to see where that's sitting on my, on my ear of my legs because I've set myself the goal of hitting yeah. a certain amount of BV by the end of February. So I don't want any surprises. If I'm short, then I want to know as early as possible so I can go and make something happen. And that's the way you guys need to think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to hit national manager, look at your business volume right now. Where are you? Write out the number, which is the difference between where you're at now and what your target is. Work out how many people is that at, you know, um, at Excel level, how many people, you know, just, it's really simple calculations, right? 
and you can think, right, if you put five people into your business or you've got five people to work with, work with them for the rest of February. The reason why I say the next seven days, go and put five people or have it, make sure you've got at least five people you can run with by the end of the next seven days is because you're going to then spend the next 14 days working with those people over and over again. Get as many of them as possible to regional manager. Help them get to regional manager. Help them understand their binary. Make sure they're doing their traction marketing. Make sure they're doing all the things that will help them to grow because if they grow, you grow. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that was, I'm trying to think of all the things. I, I told you I'm kind of just, stuff that I've spotted, um, I'm kind of just acting on, but I haven't come up with some big, thing but I, I talked about focusing on results rather than just going through the motions right the result is the key thing in this okay so the only other thing i say because i was going to say to you that the way the bonuses are set up so i've explained to you that how the the the, the different legs you only get credit for 60 percent of an individual leg based on whatever target you're going for right the other way that having at least you know multiple people that are building their businesses and helping them build their business is when you look at this bonus here, right? So this is only going to kick in when you get to director, but this bonus is based on you earning up to 5% of each, each line of PET that you put into the business. So what that means is, and this is exactly the slide is when you hit director, sorry, move this up here. When you hit direct, let me put this away. When you hit director, right? All of the people that you've personally put in, you can earn up to 5% in additional bonuses based on the business volume they're generating. So if you've only got one dominant person, person in your downline, you're only going to earn 15% of what they're doing because the other guys aren't doing anything. So really, Infinii are incentivizing you to balance, to really work with your people and help all of the people that you personally put into business you are going to get more benefit from the bonuses if you work with them than concentrating on putting as many people into the business as possible. It's just not going to, the, ben, the bonuses aren't going to pay you long term for doing that, right? Find five people and spend three, four weeks helping them to achieve whatever ranks they want to get to. That will benefit you more and more as you start to hit higher ranks. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So um, at the moment, I don't have anything actually there was one other thing and i'm going to ask samuel to really talk about this um a bit more because i see him doing this very well and some of you guys i believe you guys starting to do it is um if you have a personal interest like for example samuel's an actor right or, and he's in, he's around that creative type right um if you like to do a certain thing if you're a single mum if you're a single dad if you're a you know whatever some if you're an artist if you're creative in some way or you're an accountant like me whatever it is right if you've got some form of a background that where you you know you can connect with people who were in that same environment go and find Facebook communities, um, any online communities where you have a, you have a common, a commonality with somebody. There's a shared experience. So for example, if you're a single mum, join a single mums group and become a beacon of voice. What I like about what Samuel's done is he understands that most actors, most creative people have a very difficult financial journey before they make it big time so basically they're broke up until they make it get to it you know in a big film or a big production or something finance is a huge problem for creative people so the clever thing that i saw samuel has done right is that he's positioned himself as almost this you know like do you guys know the money supermarket guy not money supermarket the um martin samuel whatever his name is the guy who who finds all these deals for people and he finds ways for you to save money and he's like fanatical about it. Yep. Yeah. Well, Samuel's almost turned himself into one of those people, but for creative people. So he's basically taken a whole industry on his back and said, I'm going to, you know, we don't have to wait for that big opportunity for people to fund us. There's ways we can go and make money to fund ourselves. So he's positioned himself as like a champion of, creative people to stop them being broke so you know 
whatever you guys like to do, whatever your, your peer group is, become a beacon, become somebody who you can say, look, I can help solve your problems because I'm just like you. People listen to people when they think that you understand them. So if you're already part of some form of a group, some, port, some type of a peer group, go and leverage that. You don't always need to go and find new people unless all of your friends are waste men, right? And I mean that with the greatest of respect, but unless all of your friends are waste people. Um, so for the people that don't know what that means, like just people that aren't worth your time, right? <laughs> but if you, you know, if you, if you have a certain, whatever your job is, if you, even if your job is just something like you work in Starbucks, right? How many people in Starbucks would like an opportunity like this? How many people that work in whatever industry, most people, even if you've got an office job, right? You could pitch yourself as somebody who's like, you know what? There's more, you know, you want to have, everybody wants to earn more than they earn in their job, right? So just find something that you know a little bit about and use that experience to connect with people on a level. Say, look, I'm just like you and this is how I'm making my life better. Does that make sense? That's what I've been doing, Matt, with, um, with not only, only with work but my script writing group as well because script writers all want to sit at home and work on their scripts you know they find it hard to have another job so um you know i've also recently just ordered 100 business cards with the video link on it and my contact details so that when people show interest i can just go there you go what's that brilliant you know? brilliant and that's exactly what i'm talking about because yeah. Everything, all of us have different experiences, all of us have different backgrounds. That plays into your favor. So use it, okay? Mm. So does anybody have like, let's see, there's some questions here. Um, all right, cool. Does anybody have any questions? Like now just take your, your mic off because do you want to ask any questions? Is there anything that you didn't understand? Is there anything you want to say or ask me or whatever? Uh, about the, uh, the tree, the, the, when it goes into the left or right. Yeah. yeah um, is, is there any way that that's decided who goes on to what side or do we have yeah. control of that? Or? You decide that. So, right. so basically the way it's going to work is two things. Right? So, um, so basically the way your binary is going to work is this. Can you guys still see my screen? No. It's still, it's, it's just thinking at the moment. I'm just going to stop thinking. Okay. Uh, <coughs> video, okay. All right. Cool. The other day was the training. Was saying, What's that? Was saying put three, three on the. Was saying put three on your inside leg and one on your strong leg. Well, you know what? I, so that if, uh, the strong leg should be getting that, more that's people. To start with, but what you've got to remember is your your binary is fluid, right? So when I first started. Okay. My, my, the, the common leg that I shared with my upline, Terry, was the dominant line, right? But then that's changed now. So now my personal leg is the dominant team driving more business volume. So now I've had to switch strategy and the common leg that I share with, with Terry more. Does that make sense? So yes, in the first instance, build one leg you know, you're, you're one leg more than the other, but you need to always be in there understanding what's going on with your, with your binary. So at the minute, my binary's doing some crazy stuff. Um, but actually, while we've... Let me see if he's on here. Terry, you on here? Yeah, Terry. Yo, Terry. Terry, you there? All right, he's disappeared. Okay. But um, I'm sure I'm sure he'll pop up at some point. But um, what I wanted to do is just kind of show you the binary. But at the minute, my um, I'll be, I'll be right back on, bro. I'm on the call. I'm on the call with the uh, lead capture page system. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So um, so let me see if I can. All right. So now my my binary is working. So I'm going to show you guys um what I do. All right. Hold up one second. Uh, share my screen tell me when you can see my screen yeah okay all right so in the first instance all right um my my and this is not all spots there's probably about a hundred spots here that people have opened but just not done anything with but 
the team is growing okay and so basically when you're building your binary in the first instance you want to make sure that you're putting your first two people one on your left one on your right okay so let me just quickly mute everybody. you want to put people one on your left and one on your right okay and um and then from that point on what you need to understand is which leg is generating more business volume because even though you can see these numbers here right so my left leg is the one that i share with terry and my right leg is my personal leg yeah so that's the one that i've built with with you guys rather than the one that terry supported me with but when you look at um when you look at when you look at the the bv itself it tells a different story so remember the left leg so if you look at the bv for left and right the the personal leg is three thousand four four thousand dollars ahead of the left leg which is the one that I share with, with Terry. So it's not about the numbers of people that you put in. It's going to be based on all of the different membership levels that come along. Does that make sense? Okay. And then in your binary, so this is your, so this is your total business volume, but then remember your PET is slightly different. That's only going to be people that you've put in because some of this 11 and a half thousand on my left is going to be what Terry's put in. So my actual PET is, is something is just over 22,000, right? So the, you need to know these numbers. You need to be all over your stuff to know what's going on. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions in terms of the binary, how to access? Does anybody have any questions? Hey, Matt. Who's this? Uh, this Kamala. Oh, Kamala. Hey, Kamala. Hey. You asked me before if I put one on my left, one on my right, but I've just double checked and I've yeah. actually got two on my left. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> put the next person on your right. Okay. Yeah, put the next person on your right. Just the way the both work is that and i'll show you this somewhere on the on the thing so on here see all of the slides here contain one person on the left one person on the right that's just the way the cycles work so you just need to make sure that you've put at least one person on your left and one person on your right okay look so if you look here when you enroll a new member they're placed in your dual team structure your structure will have two separate teams right blah 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 and we recommend an even build. So basically, you must have at least one person on each side to fully maximize the bonus. So I'm going to mute all of you again because it's just loads of noise in the background. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions in terms of your binary? Do you all know where to get? Um, so if so, for example, have you all done this? Where if you click settings, right? Do you know that you can choose? So when somebody signs up through your link, your affiliate link, you can choose which side that they get placed on. Does everybody know that? Do now. You do now. Okay. So if you've got one side that is that you're trying to build in particular, you can choose, right? You can tell the system, I want you to put that person on the le outside left, outside right, or you can tell the system to decide for you. Okay, I'm fairly balanced, so I don't really mind where you put it and they'll just put it, I don't know how they work it out, right? But this is where you do that, okay? And then you can always move people at a later stage, right? No, you can't. Once people are in the system, they're in the system, right? You, don't, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't worry about, like, really, your bonuses are not going to be decided by you moving one person to the next. Your bonuses are going to be, be decided by you looking at your, your binary on a regular basis and understanding where you need to focus your attention. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So does anybody, does, does everybody feel comfortable with going away and having a strategy to go and, I know it, I know it might not, you, right now you might think, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Right. And for people like Bella, Bella, let's connect afterwards with, um, with Alex and, and think about how we can get you at least connected up properly, right? But for everybody else, are you happy that you've, you've at least got a strategy for your next seven days? Do you understand why I'm saying to you that your next seven days is really key and that you should just, just this is the, like I said, the, the analogy I used is at work, when you're in your employment, there's sometimes when you've got a deadline and you need to stay late, yeah? This is the week where it will benefit you to stay late and just make it happen get busy yeah and 
you can you guys can connect with me at any time. Yeah. Go. Cool. Am I yeah. am I daunting you guys or are you guys excited? Because it feels a little bit like you lot have got the weight of the world on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> So it was a bit it's, like a, a it's more exciting. I just wish other people would be as as excited. You know, it's just listen, hard to convince them sometimes. Listen, I started. Listen, everyone's very skeptical, and everyone finds it easier to be negative than to yeah, be positive. That's why I then place the importance on growing your audience. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, place the importance on growing your audience. That's why I'm saying to you. That's one of the reasons why I put, called this today because I, I looked at some of you guys' friends list. And I couldn't see a whole lot of change from the last time I checked it. So I do on the slide check these things. Yeah. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to see what you guys, what you guys are listening to and what you guys are not seeing. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Does anybody else have anything they want to they wanna add or ask? Um, on the, um, the binary, does it make a difference if you try and keep partners on one side and those who aren't interested? In, no? Okay. I, I would just concentrate right now. For the next seven days, wherever you're at, if you've got one leader, two leaders or zero leaders, by the end of the next seven days, focus on the result of putting at least five people who want to hit director in your business. Yeah. Be creative. Do whatever it takes. Concentrate on the result, not just yeah. on the action. So that's my advice to you. If I can help you in any way possible, I will help you. But think about next month, if you do all these things, next month you could be earning up to $1,000 a week in bonuses. Mm. Yeah, cool. I think yeah. that's a great incentive, right? Yeah, very much. Anybody else? Everybody else happy with that? Um, I had a question. Um, you know, you mentioned earlier about uh, the attraction marketing and using emotive words and things like that. Yep. Um, have you found... Um, any particular images or any particular words that have been most effective for you? Um, good question. Um, it changes. Sometimes, sometimes the, um, I'll share my screen again. Sometimes the image with the big numbers, people like the image with the big numbers. Um, okay, yeah, leave that page. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes something like this with, um, big numbers is like or you know sometimes it's just you know it could be it could be anything i think for you I've, what i want you guys to really get into is when you're forwarding stuff but reposting stuff that you've seen add your one and be excited so your one liner should show you're excited all right don't sound really gay about it and i don't you know i'm not being funny but but just speak in the way you speak just be like right this is exciting or oh, i love this or this is, this is a game changer. Like those are the kind of things that work for me. You might speak in a different way, but wherever you are excited, that's the way you want to be. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So mm. don't, don't just forward stuff. And if you just forward stuff, you're going to get the same type, those type of results. Make sense? Yeah. Matt, can I just say to the others that, um, I know you're saying the big numbers really work sometimes. For me today, just posting that photo of my PayPal account with £500 in it and saying it was yeah. empty five weeks ago, that's the best result I've got from attraction marketing so far. Great. I mean, I've been doing it for seven, ten days, but I know it's a significant um, difference by putting that on. And that's obviously only showing a small amount of money, you know, but um, it worked really, really well. And I've had like 20 people contact me in the that's last... Brilliant. And that's, well, a great, that's a so, great point you make, Dan, because even Jesse Singh, who's the number one affiliate on the whole of Infinii, he still celebrates when people make £10 or $10 or $5, right? It's because it's attainable. Yeah. So I don't, I, if you notice, I mix it up, right? Yeah. I'll go from celebrating one of you guys making a $20 sale to somebody holding a check for 600 grand right you've got yeah. different people in your audience you always mix in stuff up yeah totally yeah anybody else got anything they want to ask me how are you guys getting on with the calls and stuff like that are you is it any any good feedback bad feedback any feedback yeah i've done some calls i've uh i, I did 16 the first night i did it i had 10 answer phones four numbers or 17 four four dead and i spoke to three people two of who were interested so um okay 
Cool. Out of three people I spoke with, two, two are on it. And uh, when I, since then, I've got their answer when I've rung back. So I'm going to try again tonight. Okay. But, uh, good. 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 Um, yeah. well, what did you find worked? Is there anything that you found worked or didn't work? Well, I mean, obviously not ringing after nine o'clock. I stopped ringing at five to nine in the evening and all my numbers are in New York. Um, I followed the script pretty much, but kept it a bit more uh, in my style. Okay. And um, uh, pretty much I used that as, a, as, a, as the basic structure. And um, people, both the guys I, I spoke to were really interested. So that sounds great, you know. <laughs> earning without networking i'm interested yeah really? um really? i'm going into a meeting let's speak tomorrow you know and the other one's like yeah email me and i was like okay cool so i've done that but yeah still need to get back with him that was on friday and i've not not got hold of him since yet so um alex that's brilliant yeah. thank you for sharing that because i hope that gives hope to people who right now you know you've been given 500 qualified leads of people that have been previously in network marketing, right? Even if 580 people tell you to get lost, that's still 20 people you could put into your business in the next seven days. Yeah? Yeah. So outside of what you're doing on your Facebook and the people that you know, are you guys, you know, listen to what Alex just said. I didn't put that in his mouth, right? He's, he came up with that himself. And so you've all got 500 leads. You should all have 500 leads. Go and max out those, go and call, you know, go and call 100 people a day. It depends how much you want this. That's why I said to you, focus on the result, not focus on, okay, I've done my attraction marketing. I've called one or two people. I've done my bit. Your bit, if you're serious about hitting your goal is, go and put five people into your business in the next seven days. That is going to help you get to where you want to get to. Yeah? So I'm going to host a call party today. Um, when do you guys want to do a call party? What was that? I'm going to host the next call party. When do you guys want to yeah. do it? <coughs> I'm ringing California. So that's like an eight hour time difference. So it's like, oh, <laughs> anytime. Well, my old question is, yeah, I, I think it's um, with California. That's like a <clears throat> a midnight or two o'clock call for me here. Yeah. Um, and so, so part of me is kind of going, or oh, I might might actually go for the lunchtime, or since they've done network marketing before, I don't think I might even take a chance and kind of go for the afternoon because they may not even have nine to five jobs. I think, so I think you've got to try one, and if one doesn't work, do the other one. Right. So really, guys, this, this and this is it's a good point that Peter makes, right? Because <clears throat> you have to be organized, right? So if you were in a job right now and you were asked to do a task, you would you would basically do it until you completed what your boss asked you to do. So in this sense, if I was in your position right now, I would have my list of 500 people. Right. The first thing I do is try and group the numbers together. Similar area codes right so you know that you're calling you know all of these group of people in the same time zone okay then i would find a way where when i'm calling these people i'm making a note all right i'm making a note of did this did i get answer from do i need to call this person back did they did they sound interested did they tell me to get lost because the more informative your notes are in terms of what actions you do or don't need to take um going forwards then you're going to be able to maximize your, that list to your, to your advantage, right? So first of all, I would group all of the numbers by the location in America that they're in, because obviously that's going to impact the time zone. You want to take as much thinking out of the actual call session. So do as much prep work beforehand as possible. Group them all and then find a way to make some notes. Did this person, if it went to voicemail, then call them back at another point. Don't leave, I, I personally wouldn't leave a voicemail because they don't know you. You want to catch them live. And I think Terry, Terry, you just came back online, right? There you are. Yeah. Right, I want my, I, Terry, I want you to speak for a little bit because you're more of a G in this whole situation than I am. So take the floor, brother. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, team? All right. Hey, Terry. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, so no, nah, definitely, man. You, you want to follow everything Matt is saying. This was a... a fantastic call i learned a lot myself you know just being on here i was on the phone at the same time but i'm taking notes but as far as um doing calls what i always do 
Like when I first started doing calls, I would record myself talking to, to the prospects because what you want to do, you want to become the best that you can be at getting on the phone with these people. You want to be able to, you know, master the call. You want to be able to take over the call because a lot of times you get on the phone with people and they try to over talk you or you might run into a person that's a know it all. So, you know, just practicing, um, record yourself and just get better every day. And if you do that, before you know it, you'll be closing deals left and right. And, you know, that's really all it takes. Um, and uh, just make as many calls as possible. You know, we have some, some serious money on the line right now, all of us. And again, I want to see us all take it to the top. So you may have to work harder than you ever worked before. You know, like I'm, I'm super tired right now and I'm getting ready to head out of town to Fairfield to show a group of people the plan, you know, I mean, we just got to like get this. We got to like, this is to me, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And our team right now, we're sitting at the top. We really are like, if you really knew what was going on, you guys would be working even that much harder because we are sitting at the top of something that is amazing. And, you know, those of us that, that take advantage of that, the benefits is just going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. So again, follow everything Matt is teaching you with the attraction marketing. Another thing you may want to do on the attraction marketing side of things, how many of you guys are actually going in and um, joining MLM groups on Facebook? Yeah. I'm involved in some that I'm in. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Post in those groups. Uh, whenever you have a webinar or something going on, post in those groups because again, there's a lot of people posting. A lot of people look like they're having success, but the truth is they're not, and they're looking for opportunity. They're looking for what we have because there's not another opportunity out there where you can make money without recruiting. You know, like this is very, very unique. A lot of companies try to say they do that, but the fact is you have to, most of the times the reps and all the people in the company, you know, they're on the products and you have to keep on recruiting and selling more products. Here, you know, we have something very, very unique. And um, yeah, so get in those groups. Uh, Matt, can you, can you actually show them how to do that real quick? Can you go on? And... Go into a group? Yeah, go into a group. Yeah, they, they, you guys know how to get into a group, right? Some yeah. of these groups, some of these groups you have to join, you yeah, know. But you got, do you guys know how to join a group or do you want me to show you? Does anybody here not know how to join a group? All right, I'll, sh I'll show you anyway, because maybe somebody doesn't want to say it. <laughs> okay, so I well, just speaking on what Terry says, I'm probably a member of like, let me see how many groups, because I did go a bit crazy with this to start with um, when I was ready to start getting busy. So these are all my groups. How many groups have I got in here? Yeah, there's a, there's a few groups. So all you do is when you're just looking for groups, I might say, you might say um, network, marketing, back to basics. So I'm trying to find a group that I'm not a member of. So let's, it's called Network Marketing Success Magazine, right? So is this a closed group? I don't know. So if you like it, mm, this is not the type of talking about we're talking about closed groups. is there a way to filter closed groups just, just go to just put in multi-level marketing in in the search and then um let's see i think i'm a member of most of these <laughs> anyway <laughs> all, right, let me try, all right let me try this multi-stream so basically multi-stream <laughs> system i've just added it so basically what will happen is you'll come to a page like this and you just click join group that's how simple it is. Right. 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 <clears throat> and then somebody... And, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, you'll be pending. And once they accept it, go in, post in the group, uh, go through people's information, like and comment on other people's things. Naturally, they're going to add you as a friend. And remember, everybody's watching. You know, a lot of people won't say it, but they're watching. So as you post... Uh, success and edify others people will start saying hey you know I want to be a part of this and I mean that's just how the cycle goes so it'll it'll keep on you know working that way yeah. cool cool 
Did anybody have any like specific questions on anything? I missed yeah, a little. Come on, ask Terry some questions, man. We don't get Terry on calls much. He lend us a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I had that question. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant that was very quick Alex well done <laughs> nah, why didn't I figure that question I got, I, I got a nice wedding to organise you're welcome to come <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant that's brilliant go on we're, we're waiting for the answer Terry hey man <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kat, got your tongue <laughs> you, got, you got me on that one. You got me on that. <laughs> that that's a polite way of saying no, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have any money. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay. So Terry, actually, while you're here, dude, are you are you cool with doing a cool party? If I'm back, it doesn't what have to you... be today. Okay, we, we need to start having call parties like often, you know, we have to, we need to structure like some kind of time in where we do it often. I have some other things going on with some leads. We're just about out of the leads, you know, that we had. So, Crazy. but I have some, uh, some softwares and stuff. So I'm going to be running some tests on some stuff tonight. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about the software I have, when we, when we run these leads, we'll be doing something called voice drops. So we'll drop a message into like thousands of people's voicemails and only the people that are interested will say, hey, I'm interested in what I just heard. Can you call me back? So we'll only be talking to people who want to talk to us at that point. So, yeah, you know, nice. that's some stuff that's in the works right now. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get first look at all of that, G. Uh, oh, yeah. Anytime. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Well, well, you heard it there first, right? So not only have you got these 500 leads that you guys are all calling up, but now Terry's working. And to be fair, I have seen this system. I just forgot that basically, you know, we're going to be able to, to voicemail thousands of people in one go and basically off, ask them to come back to us if they're interested. So therefore, it doesn't get any more qualified than that. Yeah, we'll only be talking to people who raise their hand at that point and say, hey, I want to know more. Okay, cool. But so, Terry, if you were, if in terms of this week and how important this week is, just to bring this to a close now, because we've been going for like an hour and a half. If you, were, if you had to go and put five people into your business that were going to run with you and help you build in the next seven days, what are the top three things that you would do? Bearing in mind you're Mr. Affiliate for the last seven, eight years, not had a job, always done affiliate, you're, you're that guy. Yeah, yeah. No, first what I would do is get at everybody I know. Like, I just don't care. Like, you know, some people are afraid that people will run away. You're just going to have to run away because you're going to know what I'm doing. If you're my friend, you're going to know what I'm doing. <laughs> if, if you don't want to do it, then I'm going to ask you for some referrals. I'm going to say, hey, who do you know? that wants to make $20,000 in the next three months. Wow. You know, so. wait, 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 stop there for a second. Did you hear that? So not just ask the people, but ask them for referrals because they're your friends, right? That's powerful because I didn't say anything about that. See, there you go. Okay. So, so what's going to happen is they're going to give you a referral. You're going to talk to them. Hey, you want to make $20,000 in the next three months? That person's going to say, heck yeah, I want to make $20,000 in three months. What do I have to do? Say, okay, this is what you have to do. But before you join, let me go back to your friend who referred you and let them know you're going to be joining. <laughs> you go back and say, hey, you know, Ricky wants to make $20,000 in the next three months. You said you didn't want to do this, but I'm going to give you one more chance because this guy is about to join. He can be your first person in the business. You know, that'll make that person wake up. They join, you put Ricky under them, and then you start building with those people. And you could just go through that. You know, yeah, yeah, the people you know are the first people you want to go to, period. Period. You know, a lot of them will shoot you down, and a lot of them don't believe in what you do. But the fact is, you know, we have something very unique. Again, this is like nothing I've ever seen. So, like, get at all those people. The next thing you want to do, again, is get on that attraction marketing because – 
the people you don't know will join you faster than anybody else because they don't know you. They have no clue. You know, all, they just see success and they want success themselves. So they'll join you faster than anyone. And then if you have leads, run through them quick as possible, quick as possible. You know, again, this may be the hardest thing you've ever done. It's, it's tiring, it's time consuming, but it has to be done. And the victory is just, I mean, the success of just $20,000, once you share that I just made $20,000, think about how many other people want, you know, that's, that's big, that's a trophy. You know, we're not just doing it for the money, we're doing it to share with people. This is like a trophy, you know, I hit director. That's crazy, you know? And that's just gonna attract that many more people. Yeah, that's that's big, bro. That's big. And even before director, because they, I wanted to make this call more focused on national manager because everybody has to hit that before they get to director. As I keep saying to you guys, if you're willing to get uncomfortable for the next seven days, and it will be uncomfortable, yeah, you're going to have to stretch outside of your, your comfort zone. But remember, the reason why you're doing that is because you want to achieve something you haven't done before. That's the reason why you're stretching yourself. If you carry, if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. We can give you a roadmap to, to achieving something else. I had to get uncomfortable in December, but you know what? I'm loving that now. And you guys can get uncomfortable. This, just f focus on the next seven days. If you can get uncomfortable and just stretch yourself as much as possible, I guarantee you, you will get some reward for it very, very quickly. Yeah? So... You know, just imagine this time next month, based on you having a red hot seven days now, this time next month, you're getting basically the equivalent of seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a week paid to you all in one go. In addition to whatever it is you're earning now, right? And then you also know that, right, now I've hit this level, now I, now I can look at the next level. Does that make sense? Everybody happy? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Well, guys, that's all we've got. Is there any more questions? So should uh, Glenn, Bella, uh, me and you have a little yeah, chat? Yeah, we can stay on. But guys, go and promote 8 o'clock. Just go get as many people into the 8 o'clock as possible. Let's just start with today. You've got an hour and a half to put. Go and put five bums on seats for tonight's webinar. Yeah? Yeah. Okie dokie. All right. See you later, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks. Bye.